And in our top business story, the latest quarterly report issued by the real estate consultancy arm of Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank MPM Properties has highlighted value growth across all sectors of Abu Dhabi's real estate market during 2014. Government initiatives to stimulate job growth and enhance market sentiment fueled in part by a knock-on effect from the Expo 2020 win provided healthy demand across all asset classes. In 2014, the Abu Dhabi residential sector saw the launch of the first off-plan projects for over six years, with Aldar launching three projects totaling approximately 5 billion dirhams, and TDIC launched its first residential development comprising 461 units. Residential apartment values within designated investment areas demonstrated strong capital appreciation during 2014. MPM Properties research showed a capital value growth ranging from 11% to 35% with an overall average increase of 21.6%. Villa values also experienced strong growth ranging from 5% to 30% with an overall average increase of 15%. Meanwhile, the residential leasing market saw significant activity during the course of 2014 following the removal of the rent cap in November 2013. Despite concerns of potentially huge rental increases, MPM Properties data revealed that the market is self-regulating with normal market forces of supply and demand allowing rental rates to be negotiated and fixed. First Dubai, a subsidiary company of Al Muzaya Holding, has announced its financial results for the 2014 ending fiscal year. The Board of Directors of First Dubai Real Estate Development announced the company had recorded 3.55 Kuwaiti dinar, million Kuwaiti dinar net profit and 3.55 fills earning per share. The financial statements of the company for the 2014 ending fiscal year report First Dubai strong ability, ability to maintain its operating revenues at 5.36 million Kuwaiti dinars resulting from sales and lease processes compared to 5.30 million Kuwaiti dinars achieved in 2013. Furthermore, from the lease processes, only revenues registered an outstanding jump by 30% of the total operating revenues, increasing to 1.97 million Kuwaiti dinars at the end of the year ending in 2014, compared to 1.52 million Kuwaiti dinars earned in the year ending in 2013. First Dubai's financial statements reflect strong assets amounting to 99.28 million Kuwaiti dinars at the end of 2014, compared to 72.61 million Kuwaiti dinars achieved in 2013, rising by 37%. The largest free zone in the UAE, DMCC, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the UAE Security and Commodities Authority. The two entities will collaborate to further enhance Dubai's regulatory and supervisory standards with a focus on the country's commodities sector. The signing ceremony was attended by the executive chairman of DMCC, Ahmad bin Sulaim, and Abdullah al Turifi, SCA's chief executive officer. Bin Sulaim was quoted in Emirates news agency WAM as saying that the key purpose of the MOU with the Security and Commodities Authority is to enhance and improve regulatory standards, technical efficiencies and ease of doing business for the benefit of industry participants in Dubai, such as traders, suppliers and financiers.